In this episode, we're tackling musicians that have all used Fender amps. This is Ike Guitar, and get ready to be inspired. <laughs> Welcome to Ike Guitar. We've been going over Fender amps for a little bit, and I wanted to talk to you about some artists that use Fender amps. If you haven't seen my video entitled, The Fender Amps That Define the Music World, you should. It'll provide helpful context. I have a few caveats before we begin the video. One. These are a bunch of modern day guitar players, and they all have signature amps that Fender has built for them. It's really quite brilliant, but I chose these artists because they all have a style of Fender they like. Two, these artists don't use Fender amps exclusively, so don't think these artists use strictly these amps, though a lot of their music comes from these style of amplifiers. And for Fender to make them a signature model is a big deal, both for the artists and for Fender. And the cool thing is, if you really like the sound, you can go buy one for yourself. Without further ado, let's dive in. Now, I don't know how many of you guys love R&B and jazz, but you totally should, which is why the first artist I want to talk about is the legendary guitar player George Benson. George Benson has been a staple in the R&B, jazz, blues, and soul scene since the 1960s. The dude is 76 and he is still killing it. His album, Breezin, went triple platinum, and if you haven't heard it, you totally should. Benson has two signature Fender amps. He has the GB Twin Reverb, based on the Fender Twin Reverb, and the GB Hot Rod Deluxe 112, which is based off of Fender's Hot Rod amps, which are very bluesy sounding. These amps are both very good for blues and jazz and have been staples of Benson's repertoire ever since. Our next artist is the country megastar Chris Stapleton. He burst onto the scene with the highly acclaimed album Traveler, with Dave Cobb being the producer on all of his records. He's been playing music for some time, which it is really awesome to see an artist reach his peak later in life. Chris Stapleton has traveled the world playing not the country music we deserve, but the country music that we needed. He's pretty much the Batman of country music. Nothing says country quite like a Fender amp. Chris has used the 4x10 Bassman for much of his career, but in the latter part he switched to Princeton style amps. Chris's Fender signature amp is a model based on a 1962 Princeton. The first of its kind to get reissued by Fender. You can't go wrong with a Princeton of any year, but the early 60s definitely had a specific sound, and Fender nailed it with his amplifier. Few musicians have really changed the modern guitar landscape, but over the course of the last 30 years, U2 has done just that. The Edge is a staple of the modern guitar sound, and his skill and taste has revolutionized styles from rock to church music. It's mind-boggling. The Edge has used a lot of Vox-style amps in his music over the years, but the 2004 album How to Dismantle a Nuclear Bomb featured his late 50s Tweed Fender amp. The Fender Edge Deluxe amplifier is based on the 57 Tweed Deluxe the Edge used on their 2004 record. It features one 12-inch Celestion speaker with some of the finer accoutrements and looks of a vintage Tweed, but it will cost you a pretty penny to get Edge-like sounds with this amp. Think about 2500 bucks. So why do I tell you this? Because Fender amps are still being used by modern, world-class guitarists everywhere. Everyone has their personal tastes, but these Fender amps have served these musicians so well that they have their own signature models, which is honestly really cool. I wouldn't recommend getting these amps, as you can get similar tones with other cheaper amps, but let these amps serve as a reminder of how in-tune Fender still is with modern music. These amps are timeless, and they will serve you all the same on your musical journey. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you have any artists that you love and they play Fender amps, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell to know when all of my videos get posted. Have a good one, and go play a Fender amp and listen to some really good music. Your ears will thank you.